Hi everybody, this is Roxanne. I'm working on another um, ring binder cookbook. But I thought this time I am decoupaging the um, covers down and all the papers. But I have a certain kind of technique that I thought I'd share. And um, it's, a, it's a really great way to get it completely as flat as possible. So it's really coming out nice. So I will show you how to do that. You probably know this too if you want to save your brush and not um, wash it out each time you can just stick it in a uh, plastic bag. Alright so first want to cover your area with a good coating of uh, Mod Podge or other medium <clears throat> we try to get it nice and neat uh, as far as the streaking and that goes but just a really good covering of it want too much. Then you're going to take your paper and uh, this is my little trick is to spritz it with water the back that you're going to be um, gluing down okay. and then I want to try to get this as close to other side. There. I don't like it up on that thing. There. There. There's kind of a couch or a alley or whatever there. And you just kind of smooth it out as much as possible. I won't do the other side. I want to do this edge really well too. And I go a little over what I think I need onto this part. So we're going to cover that up anyway. And your paper will still be moist down on this side.
And then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, once this is dry, then we'll come back and do the top. I think I'm going to do some under here. And you also want to do these edges again on the outside. But it's amazing. Um, how spraying the other side, you know, the the glued side with a mist of water helps seal it really well and flat. Like the last one I did, I I taped the cover down and then decided to Mod Podge it so that it will hold up being in a kitchen. You know, getting dripped on or and then you can just wipe it off. And I'll just put this here. And let it dry. cutters after getting our new roof. So, it's been a summer of love. So I've learned, huh, as we probably all have, if it doesn't glue it right away, it's never going to. So you really got to check them out.
Okay, so I thought I'd show you the difference in using the moist spray in the back of your paper with some water so that it's a little moist and not using it. Okay, so here's using it. Don't really see a lot of the the glue streaks. It's completely as flat as can be. Including that back side. It's like you're just not... I mean it looks like a professionally covered book. So, except for the little specks of glitter from somewhere. Probably in my craft mat. And even the inside. I did not. I decoupaged these down, but I didn't coat the top. Um, mainly because um, I just didn't want it to be all slick and you know, whatever. I kind of like the matteness of that. Goes with the folders. And then here it is. This is where I I was thinking I could just use double-sided tape, tape it all down. But then I got thinking about using this in the kitchen and it would have been a big hot mess. So I um, Mod Podged after and I didn't so I obviously couldn't use the moisture you know spray the back of the paper to get that kind of moist effect because I think what that does is just really when it dries it dries tight you know that's what I'm thinking but look at this one I mean and then this one you don't have to worry about any bubbles it's not going to bubble where this was like it bubbled and then it kind of sink in and there's still come like some little spots probably where the tape was and not but you see a lot of the paintbrush streaks there's a lot of ripples where my niece isn't gonna care I mean you know she's not gonna look at that but I wouldn't be able to I, I wouldn't want to try to sell it that way because I see this big one right here. But I hope you can see all that. That the camera picks it up. Here's another one. It just It just seems to really, like even absorb the Mod Podge better covered book. I mean it really looks nice. Nice and smooth. Where this is not so much. Plus with my little damage. But, um, so I hope you give this a little try. I think it's the greatest way to Mod Podge. Thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye.